Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. I want to go over the four components of junk food. I'm going to use these saltine crackers as an example. So the first four ingredients of these crackers are the four main ingredients of junk food. So the first one is says enriched flour. And it says in parentheses wheat flour. So yeah, it's that wheat that's used as a staple in junk food in various forms. Now they add some nutrients to it. It says right here, nice and reduced iron, vitamin B1, B2, folic acid. The reason why they put those in there is not to like improve your health. It's to prevent you from dying quickly. So don't be impressed by the, those vitamins that are put in there. The next ingredient is soybean oil. So that's the next ingredient of junk food. It's these bad oils, now known as seed oils, formerly known as vegetable oils. And they're very detrimental to our health. That would include canola oil and, of course, soybean oil and uh, safflower oil. And there's many, many different versions of these bad oils. There's only four good oils. I'm sorry, three good oils that are, that are on the market. That are, they're called fruit oils. That's avocado oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. So just use those. All right, the next ingredient is salt. So extra added salt. That's the third component of junk food. And we're talking about table salt. We're not talking about Celtic sea salt or the pink Himalayan rock salt. Those are healthy salts. The reason why table salt is bad is only four ingredients, sodium chloride, iodine, and, man and aluminum. The aluminum is a heavy metal. It's poisonous, and, but it's used to shake the salt out. The last component of junk food, and it's on here as the fourth ingredient, is corn syrup. So extra added sugar, especially corn syrup. Um, you know it as high fructose corn syrup. And so that's the fourth component. Now it does say it contains 2% or less of baking soda, yeast, and soy lecithin. That's part of the baking process. So let's look at this product right here. Now we still have the same four components, but they have them in different forms that are healthier. Okay, now I'm not advocating for this company. They're not paying me to do this. I'm not even promoting them. I'm just showing you their ingredients. Their first ingredient is brown rice flour. So they're getting rid of the wheat flour and they're using that. They also threw in some brown rice protein, coconut flour, and potato starch. So that's the consistency of this cracker. And the protein isn't necessary when you're just making a cracker, but they use it for marketing. And it says right here, crunchy baked crackers with whole grain and five grams of protein to keep you energized. So that's a little bit of a marketing twist. That's why they put in the extra protein. Good for them. Now the next ingredient is safflower oil. And I'm not a fan. And then they say sesame seeds and then sea salt. So they're using uh, real salt instead of table salt. And then natural coconut flavor. And there's no extra added sugar in there. The differences in ingredients between these two. This one has double the carbohydrates as this one per serving. So there you go. Now you know the difference of uh, between uh, plain old junk food. This is made by Keebler, distributed by Kellogg, and versus a company like this trying to do something better and trying to substitute out this you know bad food. So now you know the four components of junk food. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, and then share to somebody who needs to know how to read labels and to know what the ingredients mean. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe.